been a little over a month now since Samantha Murphy vanished after going out for a jog on a Sunday morning in Ballarat. It's only in the last couple of days that police announced that they've finally managed to get hold of the data they needed from a tower dump and that they would be going through phone records from that tower dump to match with people who had been in the area when Samantha went missing. It looks like their work has already paid off because this morning it was announced that an arrest has been made in relation to the disappearance of Samantha Murphy. To the missing person squad detectives arrested this 22-year-old man from Ballarat at six o'clock yesterday morning. At the moment, no charges have been laid, so he is being spoken to by police. Uh, however, they aren't providing any further information to us. They won't tell us exactly what address or location he was arrested from, only to say that it was in the early, day, early hours of yesterday morning. Uh, and they do appreciate uh, the media's assistance in terms of, and the public's help in terms of trying to work out where Samantha Murphy has actually disappeared to or any information relating to her disappearance. So they say that they understand that there is a continued high level of interest in this investigation and concern about her whereabouts. But because they have now arrested this man, a 22 year old, uh, they they do say that it remains critical that any speculation does not impede any aspects of this investigation. So a 22 year old male has been arrested interesting. Normally in situations like this you would expect to hear that the person who's been arrested has some sort of connection with the person who's missing. I find it interesting that it's 22 year old and I'm just wondering because they were really pushing for information about a damaged car and there was a bit of speculation at one stage that perhaps there had been a hit and run event. I guess that at this point in time, while there's no actual charges have been, that have been laid, that police are not going to come out and say any more about what they're investigating and why they've arrested this 22 year old male. But hit and run does sound plausible unless and I don't know the ages of her older children, but unless it is a boyfriend of one of her children, but that seems implausible as well. Um, who knows? Um, if it was a hit and run, then he's going to be facing multiple charges. I just hope that this means that sooner rather than later, Samantha can be returned to her family and they can begin the grieving process.